All right, this may have been your best game of the season. New York Rangers, hat trick. Let's look at your first one here. You pick up the puck, now you turn. Got your back to Robert Thomas. You know he's coming, right? Is this where the communication comes into play? We kind of know like when each other, like when we're going to give each other the puck kind of thing. So for me here, you know, puck is behind me. I have to stop and get it. And you know, I see Tomer coming in the back of my eyes with speed. So you know, obviously, I'm going to try to, I'm gonna try to fake out the D and try to make him, you know, come to me or hit me. And, and I give Tomer the puck with speed here. All right, he's all the way at the red line. You get knocked down. You're on the ice. So when you get up here, are you thinking you can get back into the play, or are you thinking you're out of the play? We read off each other pretty well, so right when I see him have the puck, I'm like, I gotta get in, get in, get in the zone, and you know he's probably gonna find me. So and what she does here, you receive it, and it's off your stick in no time. I mean, these goaltenders are so good in the NHL nowadays, Jordan. If you don't shoot that puck quickly, he's gonna be able to recover and make that save, right? Yeah, or if you know maybe if I do throw a stick in on there, then you know maybe the opposing defender gets a stick on me, and I don't probably don't get it on net. You, know, you can see how close Trocek's uh, stick was on me like when I got my shot off there, right? So if you can do that catch and shoot, you know, definitely catch the goalies off guard for sure. All right, this is the power play. What's your responsibility once you enter the zone? Well, for me here, I got to kind of read off of what their D does. You know, if he's tight on me, then I might be able to take him wide. And if he backs up like this, then, you know, I know I'm going to have, since we have man advantage, I'm going to have someone trailing and I might probably be able to drop it to them. Now you find yourself and a little bit of quiet ice, but you're behind the D, right? Are you, are you thinking just go straight to the far post, keep with your stick on the ice, and a guy like Buchnevich is going to be able to find you here? What are you seeing here? Yeah, so obviously, you know, I had a lot of speed coming into the zone, so, you know, right when I drop it, my first thought is, you know, just get to the net. You can obviously see me, you know, leaning down a little bit there on my right leg, you know, make sure I, you know, I'm hard there and I can, I can, you know, get it in the net. All right, here's the third goal. You get the hat trick. As a winger, you're coming down hard on this player who's coming into the slot looks like Truby here. What do you what do you see in here in this situation? Yeah, just as you said, you know, as wingers, you know, we got to be collapsed and, and be tight. And you know, obviously that's one thing I've really worked on a lot this year is, you know, being a lot better, you know, being more so aware in the defensive zone. And so kind of right here, you know, I, I see him in the corner of my eye kind of coming down. So, you know, I'm just trying to get in, the, get in his lane, get a stick on him there. Is that where you want to be right there around the top of the circle? Yeah, as, as the wingers, you want to be kind of be like great right top of the circles on both sides, and then the center kind of wants to be in the middle. You know, obviously you can see Letty and, and Bucci, you know, they're both right on that guy, you know, tight sticks. We're all, all five of us are tight in the zone there, so, you know, I think it was Leds who ended up deflecting that. I don't get that breakaway without him. What are you thinking now? I mean, look where you are. You're all the way inside your own end. There's not a New York yeah. Ranger in sight, George. Yeah, this might be my longest, longest breakaway I've gotten, so, I mean, obviously you see me do a little quick head check there to see where they're at and you know obviously I saw that I had a lot of time so I could settle the puck down and you know make sure it stopped spinning because it was, it was spinning a lot there. You got one-on-one -on, -one on the goaltender based on where he's at if he's inside the paint or if he's outside the paint. Will that determine whether or not you deke the goaltender or come in and shoot? Obviously I, I see how far out he is so I'm like okay well I'm gonna have if I can try to take it wide you know one side I'm gonna have a, a good lane with my stick to the net. It's hard for him to get all the way across there Something like that, you know, if he's if he's closer in his net, you know, maybe I'll go even closer and then I'll try to like snipe something. All right, Jordan. Way to go, man. Thanks for coming into the film room and breaking things down for us. Yeah, thanks for having me.